Hey everybody and welcome back to another wonder tutorial kind of ASMR uh, whispering edition because it's past midnight and I don't want my roommates to slaughter me. They're gonna open the door and be like, die. Um, and I still need to bulk record some tutorials because of my trip. Anyways, uh, this is gonna be kind of like a, a part two or an extension of the previous tutorial where we talked about UV projecting a cone to quickly get a foot. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. This is just another thing you can do to improve your UV projection. You could do it with cones or you could do it with anything. So uh, here's the cone. Uh, we made uh, last time. It looks pretty photorealistic when you look at it through cycles. It's made through a single image texture. Um, and even though, you know, this thing isn't like 100% correct because we just used it off of a single image, you can see um, it looks pretty good uh, minus the uh, distortion, like the stripes go downwards and we didn't really have control over that because, you know, uh, we kind of get what we get. We project from the view that we, you know, have. Um, in this tutorial, I want to talk about how to fix that, uh, <laughs> how to take uh, the same model, do a bit more uh, UV coordinate manipulation um, to get a kind of like refined line. So this is kind of like a second pass of UV projection, kind of getting into the nitty uh, gritty. So uh, here is how I did it. And you can do this with any model uh, where you're getting distortion. And I, I feel like a lot of people don't talk about this. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at all the mesh again. What we did here is we did a, a UV unwrap. Uh, for this that we made a project from view uh, for this. I'm going to add in some extra geometry where I want to refine the projection. So for example, I'm going to add in a loop cut right here. Um, this is going to be for this like top uh, part of the line. And what we want to do is use this uh, UV map to somehow, you know, push the line to this so it conforms with it uh, to the geometry. Uh, once we've added in this loop cut, you can see now in the uh, UV projection, uh, we get the uh, loop cut uh, right here. If we were to move it around, it uh, moves around the texture. Um, and this is just kind of like a subdivided version of what we had before. It just puts the points where they were. So you can see uh, if we were to take these dots and move them towards the white line. So here we're looking at this view. You can see, and let me zoom in. I've been watching a lot of Darmance every time I hear, uh, so you see, or now you see, I have a little like heart attack. <laughs> um, but you can see now it's uh, actually conforming to this line. So anytime you have a detail uh, that isn't working, you just add in a bit of geometry. So I'm going to do this for the front, uh, which is kind of obvious. You probably uh, knew this part, but uh, the tricky part is uh, handling the back. So uh, just move all this. You could use proportional editing if it's faster. Um, also, you could slide these vertices instead of like just hitting G, but whatever. Um, you can see um, it conforms the front, which already kind of wasn't an issue because we were like looking at from the camera. Uh, but when you look at the back now, it's even uh, more distorted. So here's what I recommend. Uh, we still need to do the same thing because we want the thing to be kind of like radially symmetric. So this point needs to match with its like partner over here. Um, a quick way to do this is instead of like sliding all of these and taking twice as long, uh, hit the magnet tool. This is a uh, snapping. So you can see now it kind of moves in increments. Um, enable snapping, set it to vertex. And now when we move it close to a ver vertex vertice, a single vertex, kind of the loneliest number, um, it snaps to it. And uh, ideally, you pick the correct pair here. Otherwise, you get a bit of distortion in the back. Uh, but you can see it's working. So I'm just moving all of this down. Again, uh, this is going to introduce kind of like new kinds of distortion. But it's better than uh, the waviness we had before. So it's, it's always a compromise with these things. Unless you want to spend an uh, incredibly long amount of time. In which case, you know, why don't you just uh, make it properly? I'm just going to be moving the vertices. And you'll see in a second that it uh, works. Um, so now we've uh, conformed this whole ring kind of like to this line and we can still um, position it and fix it a bit. Uh, but we've conformed it all to this line and you can see now this is all like kind of flush uh, with the geometry here. Uh, so long story short, whenever you, you want to correct a uh, UV map, uh, you just, you know, uh, do this thing. So uh, I think what I'll do now is I'll do a bit of a time lapse of uh, me doing uh, the other things. And I'm going to do a voiceover now, which means I'm not recording it. I, it it's bizarre. I'll just tell you about uh, something, a little story. Well, oh, I, I, I guess we're already done. Okay, so I just uh, finished the process with, I, I guess I uh, uh, narrated a time lapse or something like that. Uh, you can see that uh, it's not it's not very hard to correct the UVs. I guess I should have mentioned this in the first tutorial, but then I couldn't have milked this uh, for two tutorials that were the content. Um, so again, it does introduce some kind of new distortions where the snapping kind of creates a infinitely uh, thin face. Uh, but I think this is a good compromise uh, without, you know, needing to do too much work and you get something that looks 
looks much better uh, than the original results. So again, uh, this is after we do the uh, UV projection correction, which is a great name for this video, maybe I should call it that. Um, and here is the uh, before result where it's uh, very distorted and this is the normal project from view uh, that I feel like uh, people settle for. And uh, there you go. I'm not gonna do a big uh, Patreon thing at the end of this one just because, you know, short tutorial, but uh, I just hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. There's a link in the description for Patreon. Get the blend, stuff like that. That's all I'll say about it. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Hope I could uh, correct the record a bit and sorry for the ASMR.